Hi, I'm Sailor Moon, and I'm Sailor Earth, and today we're going to talk about, you know, YouTube's, well, today we're actually going to talk about some folks in the Sailor Moon followership and, you know, so, alright, so today we're going to talk about, you know, only girls being fighters is it a true oversight or is it not now when many folks have talked with Nako Takaguchi over the years about why only girls or women were sailor fighters she said that only girls and women could be sailor fighters and a lot of folks took it many ways some folks took it into believing that it meant that since they were women, that was the grounds to why they were sailor fighters. Now, I don't, and other folks took it as if only women could be sailor fighters, meaning that there was some kind, that meaning that whatever that men could not be. But that was not true. Uh, if you go into sailor stars, both the Toei and the Viz work, you will know that there are the Sailor Star Fighter and Sailor Star Maker are men. When they shape shift, they do become women, or they get women, women uh, body breaks or chunks or whatever you want to call it on them. But they're men until they shape shift. So this oversight which only seems to be a thing if you're truly working on truly offshoots of Sailor Moon. Now, there are some Sailor Moon followers out there who follow this to a T when it comes to their sagas or, I don't know, their fan film, their follower films or whatever. But you don't really have to follow it because you're not Toei, you're not Viz. So, it's not like you're going to get handicapped in that way. Well, like, what do you think about it? What do I think about it, Sailor Moon? Well, it was an oversight that Nako Takaguchi made, but I don't really think you can put a lot of weight on it. I don't really think that oversight, you know, really stopped anything. I mean, yeah, look at Sailor Stars, of Sailor Star Maker and Sailor Star Fighter. Dustin and Jordan to, you know, uh, Jordan and Dustin to be, uh, if you take it from the Sailor Moon Sailor Stars follower English work of it. And right there, that oversight was broken. You know, nowhere else in Sailor Moon do you see that oversight being broken except there. And let's be honest, it's not like and I know, I know some folks out there are going to say, oh, well, and Viz, yeah, well, Viz just did the English work. So you can't say that it was shifted over. It was not. Every other offshoot of Sailor Moon, yeah, they're women. But, and Sailor Star, Sailor Star Maker and Sailor Star Fighter are men um, until they shapeshift. Then they become women in some way. So... Right there you have that oversight not being followed. And I know a lot of folks out there will say, but that may have been the grounds to why Nakuta Gucci and Toei had a fight over where Sailor Stars was going. That may have been it. You know. I don't know. But only girls to be can only be fighters or only women can only be fighters. It I believe that anyone can be a sailor fighter. You know? Like, look at me. I'm Sailor Earth. I'm Ernest. And I'm a sailor fighter. Alright? I might not be the first man sailor fighter. Because Sailor Star Maker and Sailor Star Fighter got that. But I came after them. And there's also, you know, Calvin Kryler, also known as Snoop Dogg, who's Sailor Sun. Yeah, I know this isn't true. Like, I can't go out there and show any truth to me being Sailor Earth or anything. But that oversight was broken. And what was the handicap? Well, you're right, Sailor Earth. 
if there was any handicap that had been put down on Toei for not following the oversight was you don't get uh, that the rest of the world doesn't get sailor stars until years later that I don't really that had to do with some other kind of fight between Nako Takaguchi and Toei that I already made a film on but I believe that if there was any handicap that may have came out of it there really wasn't you know there may have been uh, keep in mind that the lie drawing show in the books were not really following each other for sheep for sheep for following for following you know there was a lot of filler you know that you had to do but keep in mind Toei did go one way with the sailor sailor star fighters I guess you call them that yeah the sailor star fighters um sailor starlights so you want to call them that too that they were bold enough to make two men sailor fighters but then under the oversight they had to become women once they shapeshift now I'm not going to say that and that just went to show that a oversight that Nako Takaguchi herself came up with was being broken right off the front but it was by five followings into Sailor Moon before you actually saw the oversight not being fully followed anymore so I don't know if you can really put any backing on this if you go on the live draw the live show or the plays or the song shows out there they're all women all right but only one time in the live drawings was there two men sailor star maker sailor star fighter you know Dustin and you know Jordan and Dustin all right so at the end of the day, I don't really put a lot of belief in this oversight. And I know Nako Takaguchi has a right to come up and say whatever she wants. Because that's her crafting. That's her making. You know, she's the crafter. She's the maker. She's the writer. Whatever you want to call her. The drawler of it. But at the end of the day, I don't really have to follow that oversight. Because what I do on YouTube, I got my own take on it. I'm not working with the actual stuff. I don't got to deal with you know with Toei or any of their offshoots to work with any Sailor Moon things so I don't I'm not bounded by some lawful deal to follow the oversight you know plus at the end of the day I don't really think anyone really cares or truly believes in the oversight I don't you're right Sailor Moon before we end this film I want to let everyone know that this oversight that had that Nako Takaguchi came up with is a only an oversight that only it only works in the Sailor Moon show itself live drawing live show play song films whatever books but in the follower sagas and what folks do on YouTube and dolls I don't really think at the end of the day that this oversight is truly could be followed I mean if Toei broke it and nine between 97 YL and this they were doing they were if the Toei didn't fully follow it and that was nine between 97 YL then why should we follow it here because we hadn't followed it since 2009 YL so let me so you know let me what's your thoughts on this oversight that Nago Taguchi came up with so if you like this film then watch the film we made yesterday over here yeah I mean all right all right sailor if you like that then watch the film we made over here or follow us here at uh, Sailor Moon for Life I'm Sailor Moon I'm I'm Sailor Moon Serena I'm Sailor Earth Ernest hope you like this film